time is a huge factor. Evolution occurs with time. The accrual of genetic change occurs with time. These little islands are old. Well, the oldest extant Hawaiian island is about 5 million years old. And the oldest Galapagos island is also about 5 million years old. Geologic time is like that. It's nothing. Yet these are famous for their endemic species. And that's what we call a unique species that has changed over time and is only found in one place. Um, this is Raina Bell, who's a PhD candidate at Cornell. She's finishing in June. Here's the head of our um, our, our uh, molecular lab downstairs, Brian Simonson and Tomio Iwamoto. They're seining in a mangrove swamp for really weird-looking uh, pipefish. Here's Brian trying to find limpets. Again, this is two years ago on this uh, basaltic rock offshore. I was delighted to tell you that Brian proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are no limpets in Sao Tome and Principe. Yeah, there's Jim, Jim Shivak, who is our indomitable uh, bryophyte specialist. Oh, that's mosses, hornworts, liverworts. Hooking down, he's trying to get one of these liana vines, if that's what it is, that he can see a moss on it that he wants. I have no idea what Tomas is doing there, but there is, there is um, Jim again. Uh, and here's Brian with a seahorse, which we could not bring back. Um, we do not collect CITES animals, and uh, all seahorses are CITES listed. So that's what it looks like. How are we doing after eight expeditions? Let me introduce you to Dr. Dennis Desjardins, who's one of the world's authorities on mushrooms. He's right out at San Francisco State, and he's a fellow of the California Academy of Sciences. I took him the first time on Gulf of Guinea II, and then he returned in Gulf of Guinea III. Now, before we went, there were only 14 species of mushrooms known or listed, if you will, in the scientific literature from Sao Tome. And from Principe, the little older island had never been surveyed. And we now have 225 species, including 75 from Principe which had never been sampled before. The exciting thing is that one-third of them are unknown to science. If you had told me after I got my PhD and was thinking about tenure and all that stuff that I would love getting in front of a bunch of third graders, I would have told you you're nuts. There's no feeling like it in the world. So the whole idea is to make the population aware of how unique they are. I do not preach when we get up there. I don't say, don't do this, don't do that. I say, look at what you have, and it's nowhere else in the world. You're special. The islands are special. Principe Island, the small island, just became a UNESCO World Biosphere site, largely based on our work. Our ultimate goal is something called the Gulf of Guinea Biodiversity Center. We really need the science in one place. So this would be a combination of a museum good enough for tourists, and ecotourism is a potential money earner uh, for the islanders. Um, it would be an outreach place. Uh, kids could come, or we could go out to the schools, place for scientists to stay, labs, so on and so forth. Uh, we just have to work it out. This has been a dream for many, many years.